EA Sports. It's in the game. What's up, everybody? AJ here from EA Sports to give you some tips and tricks on paving your road to glory in NCAA Football 12. The first step in your road to glory is your senior season of high school football. This is where you can both earn the attention of college programs, big and small, as well as build XP for when you start your college football career. The best way to earn that valuable XP is by playing your high school games. You can customize your schedule at the start of the season to include as little as seven regular season games if you just want it to be a short one, or up to 11 games if you want to get more opportunities for that valuable XP, which can then be carried over into your college career. Right after you've created your player, you're going to be given an opportunity to select three schools that you want on your recruiting board from the start of the season. Now it's best to select your favorite three here as there is no guarantee that those schools will come knocking once the high school season has started. Now once your high school season is over as well as the playoffs, it's time for that all important signing day. This is where you have all your schools laid out and you get to choose from all of them. One thing you'll want to consider on signing day is what type of program you're about to play for, especially as an offensive player. For example, a spread offense is going to give a quarterback or wide receiver more opportunities with the ball, while a running back will obviously benefit from choosing a school that relies more on the ground game. The last thing you'll want to consider before signing that letter of intent is where you can expect to be on the depth chart. If you're a third stringer, you're going to have a lot more to prove to make it into the starting spot. Now, taking into consideration I could be a second stringer for some of these other schools or even a first stringer at North Texas, I'm going to go ahead and select Notre Dame anyway. I know I'm going to have to work my way up the depth chart, but they do have a nice spread offense and of course that school prestige. Let's go to South Bend. That wraps up the first half of our Road to Glory tips. Be sure to stay tuned for part two where you can find out what to do once you're actually in college. As always, if you have any tips and tricks, ideas of your own, be sure to leave them in our comments section. Until next time, I'm AJ, and I'll see you on the practice field.